And now to the forum. And before we do that, let's give one more warm Hawaii I welcome to our candidates. <laughs> our timers today are Bill Sanborn and Von Winborn and the, I'm sorry, and Sherm sure, Warner, Vaughn's not here, I apologize. And both the candidates understand that when their time is up, I will be cutting them off, and I'm an equal opportunity cutter offer, so they have nothing to worry about. Now, the first question, and they have two minutes, and we are going to start with Senator Ige with this. Two minutes, what have you achieved in the past term as state senator of which you are most proud. Take two minutes and you can get a 15 second yellow. Okay. Thank you. You know, as chair of Ways and Means Committee, I always believe that the state budget is the most important bill that I work on in any given session. You know, the, the budget allows me to set priorities for the state uh, and focus in on those areas that I think most important. I just wanted to highlight a few things that are uh, meaningful here on the Big Island. You know, first and foremost, it really is about it, of investing in education. We supported uh, weighted student formula increase is to ensure that um, dollars get directly to the classroom. Most importantly, we supported STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, which is so important to giving our children the applied learning experiences that really expand their horizons. Specifically to this community, we funded the science technology building here because as a charter school, sometimes charter schools get overlooked in the process. I was proud to be able to support that science building because I understand how it's important to the children in this community. Community. You know, in addition, we finally funded the pharmacy school at Hilo. Um, we supported the residency program at Hilo Medical Center. Uh, most importantly, we did provide additional funds uh, for a number of programs throughout the state, um, investing in the health centers, uh, investing in the state hospital system, and many other facilities throughout the state. It is about setting priorities, and I'm proud of the work that we've done in the budget uh, that made makes investment in each and every community, working with the area representatives and senators to focus in on those priorities that are most important to the community. Thank you so much, Senator Ige. Governor Abercrombie, take two minutes, please, and talk about what you're most proud of in your last term as governor. Well, I'm most uh, proud uh, tonight, uh, Sherry, to be able to say hello to you once again. We're, we're old friends over many years, and I'm most happy to be able to say to everyone in this audience, uh, some who I've known for more than the past 40 years, I see Hirono Haraguchi here tonight and Shirley Ito and others uh, who uh, have been my friends and, and supporters over the years, and uh, give me the opportunity to say hello to all of you. When I ran for office uh, four years ago, I asked you to look at the uh, record that I have of support for the Big Island in general and this area in particular that goes all the way back to that 1975 period. I'm not someone who's running for office and showing up here for the first time. Not someone who's citing something uh, that just happened in the immediate past. This administration has not been Oahu centric. This administration has built on the record of service and the, and the record of, of uh, activity on my part over these past 40 years on, these, on all of the islands, all of the neighbor islands. And in particular, what has happened for this island is, is that we've turned this desperate economy that we inherited four years around. We were $220 million in debt. Last year, we were $844 million in a positive balance. That's fiscal management. We're going to see a similar uh, activity when uh, the numbers come out for this fiscal year, a robust and healthy positive balance, probably in excess of half a billion dollars with our bills being paid. Unemployment is down to the lowest that it's been since 2008. So I'm very pleased to be back here with you, very pleased to be able to say to all of my friends on all of our neighbor islands, aloha and mahalo for your support and your encouragement. Thank you, Governor Abercrombie. I'd like to now give you two minutes to talk about what you believe is your single most important priority going forward for your next term if you are reelected. Two minutes and you'll get a 15 second yellow. Nothing could be more important, my friends, than our children. 
all of the little kids, the ones, the 17,000 four-year-olds right now that are perhaps losing a year they'll never get back because we don't have preschool as a, an extensive amount of place and time as we could. Preschool is the most important thing that we can bring forward to enable our children to compete in the 21st century. Reports are just out now with the digital devices that we have on this island. KL School, for example, where Chad, Principal Chad Farias will tell you that the young people who have those, those little iPads, the ones who have those little tablets, are able to participate in a 21st century education they would not otherwise be able to achieve. Preschool across the state is the single most important thing we can do, and I hope you'll support the constitutional amendment then that will enable us to go to community providers and find ourselves with preschool for everyone. Thank you very much. Senator Ige, take two minutes and tell us that if you are elected over the next four years, what do you think is the single most important thing you want to accomplish? Two minutes and a 15 second yellow. Thank you very much for that question. I too believe it is about investing in our children, but it really is about investing in our children in the public school system. You know, so much of what we believe, and I believe, uh, is about empowering schools and delivering resources at the school level. I trust and believe that those at the school level, principals, teachers, community members, know best what needs to happen on behalf of our children. As a graduate of the public school system in Hawaii, I have seen firsthand how, what a difference an inspiring teacher can make in the lives of children across our state. I, we have read in the paper about principals feeling that more and more of their control and decision-making power is being taken away from them. Uh, and they have less authority to make the decisions about investments and spending that really impact uh, the student and the teacher in the classroom. I'm committed to empowering schools, to delivering resources directly into the classroom, to choose board members who uh, believe and support the public school system, and I think most importantly, uh, are passionate about the fact that our public public school system can be the best public school system in the country and the world. It's passion like that that we need in our board members so that we can drive our, our public schools to um, be able to deliver and inspire the dreams of our children. Thank you very much, Senator Ige. You guys have a question? No. Okay, you're chatting. I just want to see. We're going to actually go back to your priorities, but first I want to ask you a one-minute question, actually. I know we now understand what pretty much your top priority is, but other than that, give us one minute on the top priorities you see for Hawaii Island in addition to what you've just talked about. We don't want to ask how you want to accomplish it. Actually, we have a lot of questions that have been submitted by people in the public, but we thought we'd get a sense of what's here in your head before we tell us, you tell, we tell you what's in our head. So one minute and we're going to start with Senator Ige. Uh, for Hawaii Island, what I've heard uh, around the state is, uh, is about the economy, about growing the economy here on the island, about agriculture. Um, being able to grow more of the food that we uh, want to eat. I've, I've also heard about self-sustainability and environmental protection, wanting to assure that we um, maintain our environment and keep our environment clean, uh, and, and most importantly, uh, recognize that uh, the environment and keeping our environment pristine is such an important part of our overall economy. Thank you. Governor Abercrombie, one minute. What other priorities do you see as very important for Hawaii Island? One minute with a 15-second uh, yellow. Uh, thank you. I certainly regret that uh, the senator is not going to support preschool uh, and is opposed to it and opposed to the constitutional amendment because I think that's fundamental to the progress that's been associated with some of the generalities that he just came up with. I think part of the reason he's only heard about it is he hasn't been here and has not participated in the activities over the, over the past 40 years. 
as I've done. For example, the Vets to Farmers program that is putting, that is actually growing the food, the Lalomila vacuum uh, plant that we're putting in right now, working with uh, Parker Ranch on, on becoming uh, individually sustainable uh, uh, for an energy grid up here on the Big Island. Uh, these are the kind of things, the practical everyday things that this administration is accomplishing everything today, today on behalf of the economy and the people of the Big Island.